Gigi Barardi reporting Food Wise News. And tonight I just wanted to share something about science because there was a very good uh, report in The Guardian that cites a particular journal article looking at the reputability of science, which is an important theme in Food Wise. So just to refresh your memories, if you've been following along in FoodWise, otherwise I'll just share. Sound information should be a major factor in making choices. And in the second section of part two, Food Choices, the Informed Science of Eating, we'll take a tour through science. How can we use science to better inform ourselves about food? What do different foods actually do in our bodies? How do we retrain ourselves to recognize the foods that are good for us? And what does good for us even mean? Part two is not meant to be an exhaustive nutritional survey of specific foods and their function in our bodies, nor is the fierce food belief section meant to demonize advertising for influencing our food choices. But advertising is nonetheless an important factor. Another issue is the lack of choice in whole foods, which leaves us with sugary manufactured foods. And this is in the introduction to part two, section one, fierce food beliefs. But the article that I'm going to leave you with, uh, the link uh, that is, um, is from The Guardian and it reports on a study in Science Advances, a journal. And it highlights this study, the replication crisis where results, mostly in social science and medicine, fail to hold up when other researchers try to repeat experiments. Following an influential paper in 2005 titled, Why Most Published Research Findings Are False, three major projects have found replication rates as low as 39% in psychology journals 61% in economics journals, and 62% in social science studies published in Nature and Science, two of the most prestigious journals in the world. This is totally shocking, but really shouldn't surprise us when we look at the nature of science. And what the study suggests is that interesting results even if not very well founded, or the claim is that they are well founded at the time of writing, but often cannot be repeated by other scientists, which is a gold standard in research, is what's happening in science today. So remember that the I in wise is for information, being informed, and so what we want to do is look at studies on the science of eating and then look at st other studies that have tried to replicate the results. And we need to remember not to be swayed, just like in writing, what I'm finding now by every new thing that's out there that's interesting, that fits with our confirmation bias, which we also talk about, but instead look at different ideas, conflicting information, their sources, and whether there's been replication of those studies before we make our food choices. <laughs>